Well, we ended the vlog early 16th, early in the morning on, on the 16th, uh, just a few a few hours ago. We are now beginning the vlog at uh, 15 hours into the day of Wednesday, December 16th, 2020. Still kind of groggy. I'm just up for a bit. Uh, we're going to do a package opening. Uh, and then uh, I'm going right back to bed. Just have to make an adjustment to the camera. Here we go. Shouldn't be shaking too badly. The camera that was, that can, that's right here was showing. So. so let's get to our package opening. I have no idea what they are. There's two of them. There's this one and there's another one. There's this one and another one. Hmm. Uh. Sometimes uh, you have to do things regardless of how you're feeling, so. Mm. This is, I think, the sort of the nature of, of sort of upgrading every week. It's sort of, this is sort of the cost of that. But I've been here before, so I'm not necessarily too concerned. Okay, it's another, it's another bat, whoops, it's a battery charger. This is it here, the battery chargers. So that's the first one, is the battery charger. Let's see if it's, I don't think it fits the batteries that, uh, no, it doesn't fit the lithium-ion batteries, even though it said it did fit the lithium-ion batteries. In terms of the advertising, it doesn't fit it, so... Uh, let's get the next one up. This is something I ordered for the kitchen. It's actually for the refrigerator. Very nice. This is it here. It's a basket, and you can put it in the fridge as it is to put, and put fruit and other things in it, but let's say you don't have a lot of space in your fridge. Uh, and you want extra space, this gives you extra space because what it does is this, with this part here, it clips on to the glass or the shelf that's there whatever shelving is there and then also you can also what I can understand, understand is that you can also expand it see like this it's it's uh, big like this you could do it this size And it goes back down to that size. So there you go. You have you have two different sizes. Let's see if I can get it done on the camera. There we go. That's that. And that. 
And of course it clips on just like this. So that's, that's the package opening. That's what we got today. I have to uh, photograph it and uh, acknowledge that I got it. And that way I get some extra points for photographing it. Uh, people like to sort of see what's going on. I should, I should also point, I'm also going to be pointing out to these videos as well that the package openings that are done uh, online here, so uh, on, on our on our uh, uh, on our vlog, so oh, <laughs> not a good start to the day. Kind of flubbing everything, but then again, uh, it's hard to sort of get yourself going. So we'll get into something uh, deeper uh, probably later on at night uh, for the second or third segment. Uh, if depending on how I'm feeling, I'm not, uh, I might end up only doing this, the two segments. It seems like we're having enough con con content in the two segments uh, so that uh, uh, the third segment is not is not a necessity. And anyway, you're, you're seeing things as they are. They're not edited out. I'm not uh, sort of making myself uh, prep for this. This is not, uh, you know, hair, makeup, and so on and so forth. You know, get ready for the camera, lights, camera, action. It's not fictional. It's real. And this is what a vlog is like if you go a person who likes to watch uh, or who are interested in other people's lives and how they live their lives in terms of the reality. Well, this is it. This is how it is. And when you're by yourself, uh, the conversation is with the camera. Uh, so, that's the way it is. There's the bus. There is an album that's titled to the effect when two worlds collide. And in my case, two worlds have merged. Anyways, we're ending the vlog for... This is the ending segment of the vlog for... Uh, for Wednesday, uh, December 16th. And it is currently 9 a.m., 9 a.m., well, actually 9.20 a.m., so 9 hours and 20 minutes into the day of Thursday, December 17th, uh, 2020. And the ending is, 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 is I think, it's going to be very similar to the, the, the beginning. We've been talking a lot, I noticed we've been talking a lot about Gnosis. And I understand the point that the, the Gnosis is not defined as one particular... Well, actually, Gnosis should not be defined as a religion, but yet, in, in many cases, it is. In my situation, it's not a religion, it's actually a choice. You have to be aware of what you're doing. You choose what to do. Uh, you choose your path. You walk the path actively. It's not simply that you're simply following... Uh, in an empty mindset. And this is what meditation is designed to do. Meditation is to take you outside of your typical self, which is to follow and to seek trends and to, you know, to follow the herd, if you will. Uh, and seek out as an individual, in many ways, and exist as such. Exists within your own, exists with your mind aware of the things that are around you, but also aware of things that are beyond, that are beyond our nature. And this is the, uh, you call the supernature, the higher consciousness. But it's actually more than that. It's about the spiritual universe. There is a spiritual universe out there. There is a soul. And that there is indeed a God. But rather than simply... And this is the options you have in Christianity if you follow the, the Christianity of the East. Most of the question, uh, the, the, the Western Christianity follows a sheep. It maintains the relationship with God, with Christ, 
as do all other religions, that you are simply a servant uh, and nothing more. Yet in the East, and so in, in the East, you have an opportunity to become one with God. You have an opportunity to, in, 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 as it states within the baptism, with the original uh, uh, service of the baptism, that you put on Christ, you wear Christ. So what happens in the East, rather than using the the the, 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 the fingers like this as om, you have the alms, you have the the prayer. Excuse me. The position is is as follows, and you can see this if you look at the icon that I have uh, to the left here. If you look at Paniya, she has her hands up in that following fashion, and this is uh, uh, throughout most of the Eastern uh, 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 understandings of prayer and and meditation. That that is there as well. Uh, so it is something that's common across, but the thing, again, the, the direction that you're going into is not the same. Uh, because you are wearing Christ, you are putting on Christ. And so what happens is that you have a simple prayer, a simple, uh, what we'll call centering mechanism uh, to bring you into meditation. That is, you have the three fingers for the Holy Trinity, and it's up, down, right, we're doing the shape of the cross, we go right, left, we, is right, left, and that's because we're wearing Christ, Christ sits on the right hand side, the Catholics use a flat hand, and they go down, uh, go down, they go to the left, and then to the right, and that's because they're facing the cross, they're not, the, 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 the Catholics don't actually wear the cross, they're not wearing Christ, they're simply facing it. And it indicates a servant position, a servile position, and that we are never called as children of the God, because if we were children of God, uh, if we were wearing Christ, if we became one and united, one and united with Christ, and then the, the prayer, the, the blessing would be, from the right to the left because we are wearing Christ. We're not facing him. We're not facing the cross. We're wearing the cross. And this, this, is, this is stated within the gospel from Christ himself. It says, those who wish to follow me, deny yourself, pick up your cross, and follow after me. So, our cross is, is like the cross. That Those are our struggles. That is the struggle to be human in, in uh, the struggle of, of humility, uh, to be humble, to be uh, not necessarily a quiet person, but, but a person who is more centered. And this is a more complex thing to do because uh, when you're awake and when you're asleep, there are things and thoughts in there that come into your mind that is are specifically there to knock you off your center. They're there to make you angry. They're there to make you upset. And the goal is to bring myself back to a centered calmness. And this is not being, this is not ignoring the things that are around you. This is dealing with your own emotions, your own sense of, uh, uh, of self in terms of how you are emotionally dealing with the things that are around you. And in the state of centeredness, in the state, and it's basically a state of peace, this is where you can find love, and, for, and particularly you find love through forgiveness. And once you've achieved that to a certain degree, and it's not never in, in any degree of perfection, you now move into the state of forgiveness where, where even though where people do things that offend you, you are not knocked out of your state of peace, you're not knocked out of your state of centeredness, and you're not, and because of your love, you're not locked, knocked out of the state of forgiveness, where you forgive the person. But we also have to understand that we have, we have behaviors of our own that are sinister, and that cause issues as well, and so the forgiveness has to be, to deal with our own sense of anger, our own sense of sinisterness, and understand that we will never be perfect. However, we're not accept, we're not we're not attempting to be perfect. We're attempting to be to develop a relationship with Christ. 
And it is that you, you're working on a relationship, and relationships take time. And uh, my achievement that I've gotten so far is that the worlds of awake and the sleep have somewhat merged, uh, and at least so far it has, where the meditation centeredness, the, 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 the calmness remained uh, from one wake state to the next. Uh, so I am awake in my dreams, I am awake when I'm awake in the conscious state as we are talking here. So that is, in terms of meditation and achievement, what's to come, I don't know. Uh, but then this is what exploration is about. you exploring uh, things you don't know, things you don't understand. So, uh, as, as other scientists are, they are the experts, they are the gurus, they will tell you what things are, what the truth is, what, and they have these ministries of truth, and uh, you li listen to this and listen to that, but don't listen to that person or don't listen to that person. You know, I unless your 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 information is authorized, well, it's you know, it's it's not a good thing. This is what they say. But the thing is, if you're thinking for yourself, then <laughs> authorized truth is not an issue. Is not an issue because you always think for yourself. You always examine. You always strive to be aware. But this is not the case for everybody. Most people will follow along with whatever they're told by whatever authority that is there.